Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw an ellipse by rectangle method or it is also called as oblong method. So let us take a problem. Draw an ellipse of major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm by rectangular method. So here major axis and minor axis lengths are given for an ellipse. So we can draw by rectangle method. Let us consider an ellipse. So for this ellipse, this is called major axis. The longer axis is called major axis. And in this example, this length is equal to 100 mm. And another axis is called minor axis. And in example, it is given as 70 mm. So we have to draw an ellipse with major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm by rectangle method. So in this rectangle method, name itself indicate we have to draw a rectangle of length is equal to major axis and minor axis. So let us draw step by step. So first draw horizontal line AB of 100 mm length which is equal to major axis length AB. Then we have to draw a vertical line passing from mid of this line AB. So locate midpoint of this AB and draw vertical line CD equal to length 70 mm which is minor axis length. So here total length of this minor axis is 70 mm. So we can draw 35 mm above this horizontal line and 35 mm below this horizontal line. So this line is CD. Then we can complete rectangle EFGH. So we can use roll and draw. So we can draw line parallel to CD from end A like this. Similarly, from end B, we can draw vertical line. Then we can make roll and draw parallel to horizontal line. And we can draw parallel line from D and from C. Like this. And give the name EFGH like this. So here we have drawn a rectangle of major axis 100 mm and minor axis 70 mm. We can also draw this rectangle in different way. So first we can draw a vertical line of length 70 mm. Then perpendicular to this we can draw a horizontal line of length is equal to major axis length. And we can complete the rectangle EFGH. Then from midpoint of this EH line we can draw horizontal line AB. And from midpoint of this EF line we can draw vertical line CD. Intersection of this AB and CD is O, which is center of ellipse. So our ellipse is passing from the points A, C, B, D. So to draw a smooth curve, we need more number of points. So I will explain next procedure to get more number of points so that we can draw a smooth curve. Next, divide this semi-major axis AO into number of equal parts and segment AE into same number of equal part and give the numbering starting from A. Here major axis length is 100 mm. So semi major axis AO is equal to 50 mm. So we can easily divide into 5 parts at 10 mm each. So we can divide this line into 5 parts at 10 mm each and we can give the numbering starting from A towards center. Then this AE is equal to 35. So we can divide into 5 parts at 7 mm each. So by using scale, we can easily divide AE into 5 parts at 7 mm each. Then we can give the number starting from A towards E. That is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Next, we have to draw the lines joining 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash with point C like this. Then from D we have to draw a line passing from 1 and extend up to C1 dash like this. So we have drawn line from D passing from point 1 and intersecting to C1 dash at this point which is point P1. Then from D line passing from 2 and extend up to C2 dash line and intersection point is P2. Similarly from 3 dash extend up to C3 dash 
we will get point P3. Similarly, draw a line from D passing from point 4 and extend up to C4 dash and intersection point will be P4. So in this way, we will get intermediate points between A to C. So we can join these points by smooth curve like this. So we will get one fourth part of the ellipse. Now once we get one fourth part of the ellipse, other part we can draw by its symmetry. So here on lower side of this AO, we will get similar curve. So make roll and draw parallel to vertical axis and draw vertical lines passing from P1, then P2, then P3 and P4 like this. Now by using compass measure distance of point P1 above this horizontal axis and mark on lower side of this axis. Similarly, measure distance of point P2 above this horizontal axis and mark the point on lower side of the axis. Then measure distance of point P3 above this axis and mark on lower side of the axis. Similarly, we can measure distance of point P4 above this horizontal axis and mark the point on lower side of this axis. So in this way we will get symmetric points and we can join these points by smooth curve like this. Now on right hand side also we will get symmetric curve along axis CD. Therefore we can draw horizontal lines from all points on right hand side of the axis. Then by using compass or it is also called as a rounder we can measure distance on left side of the CD axis and we can mark point on right side of the axis. Similarly for this point we can measure distance on left side and we can mark point on right side like this. So in similar way we can measure the distance of other points on left side of axis and we can mark on right side of the vertical axis CD. And after getting number of points we can give numbering to these points. So here it is P1, P2, P3, P4. So this will be P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 like this. Now we have number of points and if we connect by smooth curve then we will get complete ellipse like this. We can draw major axis AB and minor axis CD by center line. And dimensions we have already given major axis 100mm and minor axis 70 we have already given. So in this way we can draw an ellipse by rectangle method or it is also called as oblong method. Thank you.